building the ultimate blue epoxy river table. Let's go. This week, we're going to build a beautiful blue epoxy river table. We got a broken camera down the line. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step methods we took. And you guys do want to stick around because we are going to answer some of your questions on our previous videos. This was personally for me, one of our most beautiful tables we built to date. The layout, the color, the base, the design, every single thing on this table is absolutely beautiful. The client was extremely happy when they received their table. And I personally do have to say this is definitely one of our top five tables we built to date. It's like 35 degrees. It's extremely hot. Holy poop. So I had this very interesting conversation with one of my friends this week. Where it basically came down to him saying that the way we built tables previously, two or three years ago, are way different than what we are building tables today. That being said, it basically came down to him saying that I can't give false information to the people that's watching my videos. I do have to say that this was a very positive conversation and it basically came down to me telling him that we as human beings will continuously look for new ways, techniques to improve ourselves, to look for the best way we can possibly build tables. So the way we built tables three years ago is way different than what we are building tables today. And I can promise you within the next two or three years, it's going to look way different than what we are building tables today. And I see that as a extremely positive thing. Outside woodworking and your work, what you do every day, you as a human being, you need to continuously look for new ways to better yourself. If you are a better person, I can promise you it's going to show in your work. I know it sounds cliche, but it is just the way it is. Oh, it's hot. I even made a small statement in my epoxy online masterclass where I basically said that the guys that's purchasing my class, the way we build tables now, and if you guys looking at my future content and it looks different, please don't question me <laughs> because we as a company and me as a human being will always look for better ways in building tables. And it's normal. I think it's in our natural behavior. It's just the way it is. So I did mention a online epoxy masterclass. Yes, we took the liberty in designing this masterclass it's a course that's three hours long. It's going into detail on how we as a company build all our tables. I'm going to take you through step by step the methods, techniques, tips and tricks from start to finish. Everything you need to know on how to build tables successfully. I am going to leave a link down in the description where you can find this masterclass. And for you guys that are interested, I am going to leave a short preview at the end of this video, if you guys are interested in this course. This course are specifically designed for a beginner DIYer, someone that's building tables already, and for your masters and your experts that's building the tables. Bailey! <laughs> So from now on going forward, in all our videos we post on YouTube, you guys are asking a lot of questions, which I don't always have the time to get to because I actually do have a personal life outside YouTube and I've got a company to run. I've got a beautiful fiance with two little beautiful puppies, which I need to keep happy. So yes, to answer one or two comments and questions down below is not a problem. But for someone like us, a content creator and a social media influencer, we don't always have the time to get to every single person's question, which I sincerely do apologize. But I think from now on going forward, I am going to select a random few questions you guys are asking and I'm going to answer them in the next video. So this video you're watching now, I am taking questions from last week's video which I am going to place randomly 
in this video where it's going to be applicable. So if, for instance, someone asking with what color I'm using, I will obviously post that question in the section where we are busy doing color, if it makes any sense. By that, I personally feel and think that I can accommodate most of you guys going forward. So the first question we got is from JL and he's asking, when you apply that thin top layer, what type of epoxy are you using? Depor, tabletop, etc. Is this step explained in your digital course again? So to answer your question, JL, the top layer epoxy we are using is the standard tabletop epoxy. Now, I do know for a lot of manufacturers out there, they are using a different type of epoxy for the last layer they are casting. It's basically a flat coat epoxy. It's a epoxy basically used for flooring. It's much more durable. It's, I won't say scratch resistant, but it doesn't scratch that easy. And it's basically designed for high traffic. So if you're going to pull or push anything over your epoxy when your table is finished, it's not going to scratch that easy. But for us as a epoxy company manufacturer, we are using the standard tabletop epoxy on all our tables. The epoxy we are using are very, very strong. It's a very durable epoxy. It doesn't scratch that easy and it gets extremely hard. So I feel for a company like us, we don't need to do the top coat epoxy. So we're basically just loading the table on our van because it's going for flattening. Basically do this with all our tables for a small woodworking company like us. We do not have our own CNC machine. So we do have to take our table to our local supplier, which obviously have a massive CNC machine. We send it in, we wait around about one to two days, we receive the table back and it's flat. This is a must for any manufacturer out there. If you don't have a CNC machine, I would recommend doing it manually on a manual router sled. Now, you can go and check out my first epoxy video we posted, which got more than 2 million views. And you will see in that video that we will definitely not do that again. It makes a ton of dust. First of all, our shop is dirty and it just takes way too long to flatten our table. So the next question we got is from Cliff. Cliff is asking Greg, is it imperative to put the screw into wood or would it be okay to fasten the screw into the epoxy when putting the stand brackets on? Cliff, that's very easy. There's two answers to this question. First of all, you can screw into the epoxy, but you do need to have a solid color epoxy, meaning that all the tables we built is transparent. So obviously, if you're gonna stand from the top side of the table, if you're gonna screw into the epoxy, you're gonna see the screw from the underside. But if you're going to use a solid color epoxy, you can definitely screw into the epoxy, if it makes sense. I hope that answers your question, Cliff. It's not that difficult, but yeah, for us, we don't do solid color epoxy tables, so we don't screw into the epoxy. What I'm basically doing now is applying a very thin layer of epoxy over my table, and that's to close all the imperfections, the holes, the cracks. Uh, that's to fill it with a very thin layer of epoxy. This is very important because you don't want to deliver your table with cracks and holes and all the imperfections on your table. We basically, we don't do this with all our tables. If we receive the slabs and they are extremely, extremely dry, like under nine, eight to seven percent moisture content, then what we've seen is that 
the table has so many small little cracks and holes and imperfections we do have to do this step because the client obviously pay premium prices for the table so you do want to give them a premium product if it makes any sense we also do have another product to close the minor minor cracks but i'll explain this in the next step So the next question is from Alexander and he's asking what's the tool used to create the small angled etched? Alexander, it's very easy. The tool is called a router. They come in so many different sizes and shapes. The one we're using is from Festool. It's the palm router and the bit is a 45 degrees chamfer bit. We like using that bit because we like keeping the thickness of the table. I hope that answers your question Alexander. So the next question we got is from Kobe, he's asking What the finish you do to this table? When the client will use it and move things on it, it will leave small scratches and marks? Question mark. Kobe, that's a very good question. Now we sell all our tables and we tell all our clients that epoxy is not scratch resistant. You need to understand that epoxy will scratch you are going to call us within the next two or three years to come and do maintenance on your table. Now, I do know there's products out there that call ceramic coating. It's basically a very thin layer of ceramic you apply on top of your table, which is going to help your epoxy not scratch. It's water repellent. Um, there's a lot of benefits in applying this. And for you guys that's watching, that's from South Africa, if you know about this ceramic coating that's available in our country, please get hold of us. I would love to try this product. So our camera fell. It's not nice. Yes. So for the next five to six videos to come, the videos will be cut short. Unfortunately for this video you're watching, the oiling process and the polish process we lost. Uh, it's a very expensive camera that fell. It's the Fujifilm X3. My heart was broken. We did invest in a new camera, Sony A7 III. You'll see our audio and footage will definitely be better in the videos to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next week with another super cool video. Cheers, guys. Welcome to this online epoxy masterclass. Moisture content. You heat right into the core wood species to remove the bark with an aggressive steel wire brush. Table design, slab preparation, building process, epoxy mold. Release agent wax. Calculate epoxy. Seven, eight, so we got 16 points. Mixing epoxy. Color consistency. Whether to seal your live edges or not. Pouring epoxy. Sanding between layers. Sanding grooves inside your epoxy. Dealing with bubbles. Maximum depth curing time. Removing the table from your mold. Our local CNC supplier. Start sanding. Cutting your table to size and edge. Filling the cracks and holes. Smoky finish. High gloss see-through finish. 
wood surface finishing, tabletop supports to drill into our wooden section. Our online epoxy masterclass is finally here. It's four hours of masterclass where I'm going into detail on how we build all our epoxy tables. Where I'm going to teach you from start to finish how to build a epoxy table successfully. I'm going to show you all our methods and techniques we take in our everyday business building epoxy tables successfully. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find the details on how to purchase this masterclass. You don't want to miss this one. So if you guys enjoyed this week's project, make sure you support us by liking this video, subscribing, hitting the notification button so you don't miss out on any future projects we're posting. Thanks guys. Cheers.